Hello everybody. We're going to take a look at unit 5.1c at WAMAP, which is converting units when you have dual unit conversion, which is converting two sets of units at the same time. So the example is uh, convert 25 miles per hour to feet per minute. Again, you will need or you may need the uh, WAMAP formula sheet. So if you click on this link, that tab will open and this is the GED formula sheet and below it is the WAMAP conversion factor. And so we're con converting miles per hour to feet per minute. So we have um, lengths here, top one. There are others we will use later for volume and weight, but right now we're gonna use length. So some of you may already know there's 5,280 5, feet in a mile. And most of you should know um, how many minutes there are in an hour. So we've got, I'm setting it up this way, 25 miles per hour, 25 MPH. That's equal to X feet per minute. And we're going to rewrite this MPH as miles per hour. So we've got our two fractions here. And these are basically equivalent. Uh, we're going to convert them using a uh, number of feet per mile. So we have this. One mile is 5,280 feet, and one hour is 60 minutes. So um, we're going to set these up. You can stack these any way you need to, um, these fractions we're using for the conversion, but just make sure that the units um, that you want to convert to are left up on top by themselves. And uh, for example, we've got 25 miles slash hour. So we want to get rid of the miles because we're converting miles to feet. So when we use the mile conversion, we're going to have the mile unit on the bottom in the denominator. And then um, for our next conversion, we've got one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And um, we've got miles per hour here. Hours is on the bottom. So we're going to want to have this one stacked so that hours is the unit on top. So then we can write, write it out this way, 25 miles per hour times 5,208 feet per mile times one hour per 60 minutes. And so as we multiply these through, miles and miles cancel each other out, uh, numerator, denominator, hours and hours cancel each other out. And that leaves intact our feet and minutes. So what we have to do is the um, whatever remaining work there is here, 25 times 5,280 uh, times 1 if you want and then we've got 1 times 1 times 60 so you could pre-reduce these um, like if you were to uh, reduce this to 5 and this to 12 it might make the math a little easier but uh, one nice perk about um, being in math at this level you get to use a calculator for this unit so let's go ahead and do that uh, if you're using the GED calculator it's a good place to get practice. Um, you won't actually use a physical calculator if you take the GED. It will be an on-screen equivalent. So make sure you practice before you get there. And we're going to use the um, fraction key. That's the one that says uh, num numerator, denominator, um, N over D. Just push that. And then I would use parentheses, left parenthesis, then a 25 multiplication sign 5280, multiplication sign and one. You don't really need the one because multiplication by one is the, is the identity property. Um, and then that's going to be over one times one times 60. So we'll just make that over 60 and hit enter for your answer. And the answer I got was 2200, 2200, and that's feet per minute. Oops, no, my pen won't work. Something, uh, maybe my computer's frozen. Well, anyway, hopefully it's still recording. Um, 2,200 feet per minute. And um, that is the answer we would put in at Canvas. And they have the units here, feet per minute. So you only need to put in the number that you got on the calculator, 2200, 2200. Submit question. See how we did? Yeah, I have a very slow connection. So we'll see how we did. Drum roll while we wait. 
keep smiling. Okay, we got the green check. So you can get a similar question and try that. Um, if it doesn't make sense, watch the video again, or you can message me, just click this button and um, send me the email. I'll try to get back to you within 24 hours. Don't hesitate to ask if you get stuck. All right, good luck.